Hi, my name is Tully McGettigan. I'm the Outdoor Power Equipment Product Manager for Horizon Distributors. I'm here to talk to you today about some of the confusion regarding the voltage in battery-powered uh, outdoor equipment. And, you know, if you take a look at the different brands that are out there, we've got Echo, who's got a 56 volt. Akita's got 18, 36, 40, and 80. Greenworks Commercial is 82 volts. So what does all that mean? Well, simply, when you take a look at this battery pack for Echo, this is loaded with battery cells. It's an 18650 battery cell, which is a standard for the industry. Lithium ion batteries. Uh, give you an example, this power pack right here has 14 cells in it. A Tesla Model S runs on the same thing. It's got seven, over 7,000 uh, cells in it. So they all run off the same cell, um, but it's how they're put together and how they work together. So the 18650 has a maximum voltage of 4.2 volts, and it's got a minimum voltage of three. And so the manufacturers kind of pick a number anywhere between that 4.2 and the 3.0 to come up with the voltage that they're using for their system. So to give an example, Echo uses four volts to create their 56 volt. Steel looks at it as 3.6 volts to create their 36 volt system. So then it comes down to multiplication. You take a look at the 14 batteries in an Echo at four volts each equals 56 volts or on steel, they, since they're measuring at 3.6 volts, 3.6 times 10 cells within that battery pack gives you 36 volts. So there's really no regulation. The manufacturers can pick anywhere between that 4.2 and the 3.0, and then they multiply that number times the, uh, the number of cells they've got in there. But keep in mind, they're all using that same 18650 cell. So ultimately, they're all very similar.